Factory and a fixture over the Rhine is slated for demolition. As David Winter reports, the bell tower above First Lutheran Church along Washington Park is about to sound its last toll. Good afternoon, uh, First Lutheran Facebook friends. Pastor Brian here for our weekly uh, Facebook Live noon prayer. Pastor Brian's message today carries with it a slightly heavier heart. The announcement the church's iconic 125-year-old bell tower is slated for demolition. But it is significant loss uh, that uh, the tower will not be a part of the skyline uh, in a, a short amount of time. The realization came last week when the city condemned the tower following engineering studies that proved its instability. If they were able to fix Notre Dame, they certainly could <laughs> fix this. We spoke with Pastor Brian after his service. He says it's not whether the church can raise $1.2 million to fully restore the tower, it's also whether it should. We feel it would be inappropriate, uh, kind of misplaced, to go to the community now when people are out of work, businesses are closing. The beauty of the church is something that's uh, uh, part of what people want to express in the beauty of God's creation. And so Church member Chris Heckman understands the challenge, but that does not ease the pain of the loss. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. But so 2020. And First Lutheran Church is not alone in its need for money in this part of the city. Just within the Washington Square Park alone, you have the Ensemble Theater, the Shakespeare Theater, Music Hall, Memorial Hall. More than a half billion dollars spent in public and private funds over the last few years. Uh, the price tag on this was $110,000 to clean the glass and put all new lead in it. First Lutheran is still spending a tremendous amount of money on other renovations. But just give it a tug there. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. The pastor says the 2,000-pound bell may someday find a new home in a rebuilt tower, but for now, it will be farewell. Uh, thank you for being a God of, of hope and future orientation. I'll watch over and keep us uh, until we meet again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. David Winter, Local 12 News. That is very cool that David even got to ring the bell. We are told that demolition could begin by Christmas. Church leaders hope to eventually rebuild a smaller bell tower sometime in the future.